Within, the cavity is lined by both male and female flowers. Each is little bigger than a pinhead. But some of the female ones have been parasitized. Weeks ago, a minute female wasp crawled in through the entrance hole and laid her eggs inside their ovaries. Now those eggs are about to hatch. First to emerge are male wasps. But they're difficult to recognize as such, for they have long, worm-like bodies and no wings. They will never fly. They won't even leave this chamber. They're searching for those parasitized female flowers that contain unhatched female wasps. A male, having found what he seeks, mates with the female while she's still inside the tiny flower. He crawls away and will soon die. His work is over. Now the females begin to hatch. They are more recognizable as wasps, for although they are barely bigger than mosquitoes, they do at least have wings. They head for the exit hole. To reach it, they have to pass the fig's male flowers, and they get loaded with pollen as they go. Out into the open air they fly to look for another fig tree in flower. If they find it, they will force their way into the little globular flower capsules and so fertilize the fig.